the former 43rd treasurer or the 43rd treasurer of the United States, Rosie Rios, and the president, President Biden's former senior political advisor, Mo Vela. They have teamed up with other colleagues for a new show called Unicorn Hunters. I talked to them about how they hope this show will create access to wealth among diversities. Rosie and Mo, thank you so much for joining us back here in Washington, D.C., a city where neither one of you are strangers. Uh, I have to imagine, did you meet here before you started Unicorn Hunters? Yes, we, we did meet. We actually, I, I jokingly say I saw Rosie Rios across a room and forged my way through the crowd, Ellen, and said, I'm going to meet that lady. I knew she was special and she was amazing. So we've been friends for now over a decade. Thank you, Mo. And hello, Ellen. Thank you for having us. Yes, it was definitely love at first sight. Uh, Mo and I made a joke the other day, you know, I think Mo said move over Benifer. We're now the new Mosey. So there you go. But yes, he's a, he's a great friend. Well, now you are together again, reunited on Unicorn Hunters. Why was this project something that you both felt very passionate to be part of? Well, this was, you know, Mo's brainchild, and when he when he called me to ask me if I wanted to, to be a, a panelist on the show, of course, I, I couldn't say no for all the right reasons. So Unicorn mm -hmm. Hunters is a reality series that allows uh, pre-IPO opportunity investments, and, and for me, this was kind of coming full circle because it really started from an access to capital conference that we hosted in Treasury in 2011 that led to the task force that eventually made the recommendation to Congress to, talk to, to pass the Jobs Act of 2012. Mm -hmm. And subsequently, the crowdfunding provisions from the SEC allowed a show like Unicorn Hunters to come together. Wow. Yeah, and you know, Ellen, for me, it was... Um... Uh, frankly, kind of a continuation of a whole career of fighting for equality and inclusion. When I came to the realization uh, that it was like a slap in my face when I realized that women, minorities, many of our communities that are marginalized and disenfranchised didn't have access to wealth creation or, or access to the investment ecosystem. This was a no brainer for me. It was like that final thing I wanted to do on my journey to try to create access for folks all over the world that today uh, are intimidated by the investment process. I'm glad that you guys brought up the investing culture because you typically think of maybe one group who knows what they're doing in that area. Is that something you are definitely trying to break through Unicorn? I've been breaking stereotypes just like Rosie has. I think all of our careers, Ellen. And so yes, for me personally, yes, I think the show is all about uh, breaking down those walls, those barriers, if you will, that have kept the average human being out of the investment ecosystem. And part of it's intimidation, part of it's fear, part of it's a lack of knowledge, part of it is a lack of access. And so we're so proud at Unicorn Hunters, honestly, that we provide all of those things. During our show, there are little education boxes mm. on the screen throughout each episode defining terminology, right? That otherwise would have probably made me go, oh, I don't know what that means, I'm not going there. So we're really proud about all of that. Yeah. What What are some of those biggest obstacles, especially in the LGBTQ plus side that we have to cross in order to make sure we do have that equality? I guess technically today is the last day of Pride Month and, and I'm not a big fan of months. Every day should be Pride Day. Every day should be Women's History Month. And so, you know, I, I wanna make this world so that we're not a novelty, mm. we're a norm. You know, and just to kind of take the point a little further, you know, as, as I mentioned, you know, when it comes to women, the numbers don't lie. So just, you've probably seen the numbers, you know, last year there was about $150 billion that was allocated in the VC world. And of that only 2.2, 2% went to female founders. Wow. But the sadder part is that it was 2.6% the year prior. So we're heading in the wrong direction. So in my opinion, you have to be very deliberate and intentional, right? So it's called awareness and action or being conscious and conscientious. Mm -hmm. And this is where Unicorn Hunters comes into play. And I will add, Ellen, that that percentage is abysmal, obviously. And the, the numbers for LGBTQ+, the numbers for Latinos, the numbers for Asian Americans, African Americans, and so on, are even worse. So it is a very horrific picture. And at Unicorn Hunters, we believe we're a step in the right direction and a part of the solution. 
Mo and Rosie also told me they have been renewed for season two, so you need to go now to unicornhunters.com to see those episodes of season one before season two starts. 